Solutions Diva. I'm Laura Mori, and this is my trusty assistant for the day, Dylan. Dylan is here today because we are cooking with kids. We're talking about recipes that are perfect to teach your kids to make. Because I love the idea of having recipes, the kids get to learn how to do them, so that when they get older, they can maybe actually take care of themselves and cook a few meals, rather than just go to the freezer and pull something out to defrost. So, today, what are we making today, Dylan? Chili mac and cheese. Chili mac and cheese. Awesome dish, almost a one pot dish, and that's what I really love about it. So, what we've done before we even got started here, Dylan browned up some ground beef, uh, three quarters of a pound ground beef. To that, he added one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of ground coriander, we also added in there one teaspoon of onion powder and then two teaspoons of chili powder. And so he did a great job of mixing all that up already. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take two cups of beef broth. We're going to pour that in. Go ahead. Uh, so he's going to pour that in and he's going to mix it up once he's poured that in. In addition to that, we're going to put one cup of water in there and he's doing a great job already and then finally we're going to add one can of Rotel diced tomatoes and green chilies just get all that in there you know pop it down really well and what we're going to do is we're going to bring that to a boil so we want to kind of put it up high and go ahead and stir that now at the bottom of our our pot is some of the best stuff you got all the spices and everything you want to make sure you get that stuff up off the bottom of the pan because that'll just add more flavor to it. So yummy. So he's going to do that. When it comes to a boil, we're going to be adding to this one cup of dry elbow macaroni. And then we're going to bring that back up to a boil, cover it, and we're going to cook that in the pot all together for about 10 minutes until the macaroni is cooked. And then we're gonna show you what it looks like on the other side. Okay, we cooked the macaroni in that meat sauce. Oh, so yummy. It smells so good, doesn't it, Dylan? Now, what we did while this was cooking in a separate pot, we combined a half a cup of milk, four ounces of cream cheese, and then why don't you tell us from there what you did, Dylan? We cooked the cream cheese and the milk together until it melted, and then we put the cheddar cheese in and until it was velvety. And stirred it up until it was velvety smooth. So why don't you, let me just show them quickly. This is what he meant by velvety smooth. It's oh so creamy. So what are we going to do? Pour You're going to, go ahead, pour it in. This is what I meant when it was almost a one pot meal. And so he is scraping down the sides of the pot to try to get all as much of the cheese mixture in as possible. And then what we're going to do, we'll just, just do oh, perfect. Let me just grab that. I love doing that. Grab that little bit. And then if you'll put the pot down, I'm going to, because the, this pot is hot, I'm going to just do the mixing. Now, this our mouths have been watering as this was cooking, I think. Really? No kidding. So this, oh, it smells so good. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop this, a little of this, into a bowl. And this looks really hot. Dylan may want to wait a minute, but he's going to be the taste tester. And he's going to tell us, take a little bit and blow on it. Tell me what you think, Dylan. Blow on it first. Is it good? Is it cheesy? Awesome. Chili mac and cheese. Is it an easy recipe? What did you tell me earlier that you could probably make it at home? Make it at home. And he said it was so easy he could probably do it from memory. But the good thing is, his aunt is the Simple Solutions Diva, so he knows to go where? To the internet and go to www.simplesolutionsdiva.com, right? So there you have it. 
He helped me. Great assistant today. Thank you for joining me and we'll see you next week on SimpleSolutionsDiva.com.